breaking news, breaking news, criminal. Can you say criminal investigation? Criminal. They're criminals. Uh, criminals in Russiagate. Criminal investigation has been opened up in the Russiagate investigation into the origins of the Russiagate investigation, according to the New York Times. William Barr, John Durham, Donald Trump on the march. Is that what's going on? Is it revenge? Is the Trump administration draining the swamp? Are they, are they, are they going after the bad guys finally? Well, let's find out. According to the New York Times, the left-leaning New York Times, well, left-leaning, the completely, totally, and utterly insane left New York Times says, Justice Department is said to open criminal inquiry into its own Russia investigation. Ah, see how they turn it on? See the Democrats, whatever, whatever, whatever they did, turn it and put it on your enemy. Its own investigation. Well, it wasn't. It was, you know, the the, the Department of State, the uh, presidency was inherited through an election. But before that, you owned it. Uh, so see how they're switching that shit around. It's just propaganda. But nonetheless, this is true, right? There is truth. We have to believe that there is truth to the story because the White House has not pushed back on it. The move is likely to open the Attorney General to accusations that he is trying to deliver a political victory for President Trump. Uh, All spin, New York Times, all spin. Just give us the facts, please. Just give us the goddamn facts. That's a total theory. All right. So, uh, for more than two years, President Trump has repeatedly attacked the Russia investigation, portraying it as a hoax, illegal, even months, and illegal even months after the special counsel closed it. Now, Trump's own Justice Department has opened a criminal investigation into how it all began. How it all began. Was there criminal activity? Of course there was that criminal activity. Of course there was. So let's find out about it. What's wrong with that? See, that was the essence of it, right? The 12 GRU agents that swooped into the, to the DNC and, and, and Guccifer 2.0 and WikiLeaks and CrowdStrike and all these ridiculous ridiculous scenarios as to what happened at the DNC that try to cover up the what? Cover up the fraud. Cover up the uh, election rigging on behalf of the DNC for Hillary Clinton and against Bernie Sanders. That's really, really the essence of Russiagate. Right? If you want to if you want to investigate Donald Trump, you have to look at that, not why they investigated you after the fact. If you want to look to the origins the origins of of Russiagate, you must, you must, you must talk about Seth Rich. You must talk about Julian Assange, who is now sitting in a prison cell uh, for something unrelated. Right? That's the origin of Russiagate. The Russiagate was created in the bowels of the DNC, an idea probably formulated by Hillary Clinton, Robbie Mook, John Podesta, and uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz and the the like, the bad bunch, James Comey inside the FBI, you know, Peter Stokes, those guys, they're the ones who, that's the origin of Russiagate, right? Forget about Pfizer reports and all that shit. That came later. Uh, please, it came later, Trump. Go after the real shit, right? So Justice tomorrow, we'll look at all the spin, right? There's a lot of spin coming out. So this is the New York Times initial report and the initial spin. Justice Department officials have shifted administrative review of the Russia investigation overseen by Attorney General William Barr to a criminal inquiry, according to two people familiar with the matter. So let's just assume that it's true. The move gives the prosecutor running it... John Durham, the power of subpoena for witnesses and testimony and documents to converge, convene a grand jury and to file criminal charges. Ooh, ah, grand juries, they're fair, right? <laughs> it's, a, it's a kangaroo court, right? We live in times of, you know, American j- judicial is all kangaroo court. It's all politics. It's like whoever runs the show, anybody can get an indictment in front of a grand jury if you're important enough. It said that uh, anybody could that uh, anybody can indict a ham sandwich, if it's presented correctly. Grand juries are you know kangaroo courts. There's no attorneys uh, allowed. The person sitting being questioned has no choice to be there. It's a subpoena. If you don't, you sit in jail like Chelsea Manning. <clears throat> so, 
So it gives it gives uh, Barr and Durham uh, and under Trump quite a bit of leverage to call in their cards to to go after the bad guys with uh, with a uh, with subpoena power and grand jury indictment power. The opening of a criminal investigation is likely to raise alarms that Mr. Trump is using the Justice Department to go after his perceived enemies. Well, only if you're a left wing kook would you come to that conclusion. Or you could say that Trump is simply draining the swamp and getting to the bottom. Sure, it works to his political advantage, Trump. But he's getting to the bottom of what really happened in Russiagate, right? Is Trump willing to find out? Is Trump willing to expose the DNC and CrowdStrike and what they did back in the, you know, spring of 2016 in terms of trying to cover up a, a leak and creating a Russian hack out of the deal? Is Trump willing to do that? Because then you have to talk about the guy sitting in jail, uh, uh, you know, Chelsea, uh, uh, you know, Julian Assange right now, who's being, you know, punished and tortured in a British uh, jail. Are you willing to do that, Trump? Are you willing to tell the truth, Donald Trump? Are you willing to tell the truth? I don't know. I don't think so. I think he's just going to go after his own his own side of the fence, you know? So Mr. Trump has, has made it clear that he is seeing, he sees the typically independent judicial department as a tool to be welded against the political enemies. <laughs> That's the fucking New York Times. That view, of, all right, so enough of the New York Times. Right? So the fact, let's just get to the fact. The previously inquiry, the administrative inquiry into Russiagate, the origins of Russiagate, was an administrative inquiry. It is now a criminal investigation. So here's, um, here is the, uh, the left-leaning NBC, I guess, reporting. Is this NBC? Ah, uh, somebody, somebody. Yeah, NBC. So listen, listen to the spin. Let's listen to the spin. This is a dangerous way to do it. Oops. Oh, no. Our representative Elijah Cummings will lie in state at the U.S. Capitol oh, today. A celebration no. of life. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Let me see. We might have to watch a commercial. We might have to watch I heard you guys have work day now. Yeah. They're a great partner. Oh, no. They're always there oh, no. with insights and guidance. It's like having a business caddy. Who can run Detroit? The wow, VP the there is well qualified. Crazy. You gotta watch we can staff Detroit. Detroit from within. You good for golf on Saturday? Can't. Closing the books. And it's already the finished. Half the half the time. And I'm back in. Video. There's an opportunity in New York. You have to watch the video. Not this quarter. Workday, a finance, HR, and planning partner like no other. Okay, you got us, Workday. You got a us. A bombshell from the Justice Listen. Department now investigating itself. According to a person familiar with the matter, the Russia probe into 2016 election interference resulting in the Mueller report has now become a criminal investigation into the very agency that was conducting it, led by U.S. Attorney John Durham, who now has the power to subpoena witnesses, impanel a grand jury, and file charges. It's very similar to the spin that you heard in uh, New York Times. And we'll listen to Fox's spin. All against some of his own officials. Former Director of National Intelligence James Clapper reacting overnight. I found the, t the timing interesting, uh, given the... Uh increasing heat uh, around the impeachment inquiry. Democrats blasting the inquiry and Attorney General William Barr, who is overseeing it. Where is this investigation going? It, it makes no sense. Um, so bring it. Uh, bring it, Attorney General Barr. There's a Democrat, Congre a Democrat saying, bring it on. Meanwhile, they're, they're in the process of trying to impeach Trump. He's saying that the Russiagate investigation into the origins of the how it how it evolved is irrelevant. It's not irrelevant. It's very it's very powerful. It's very important because it reveals the rigging of an election. Congressman Jerry Nadler tweeting overnight: the Justice Department has now become a vehicle for President Trump's political revenge. For more than two years, President Trump has repeatedly tried to discredit the Russia investigation. The total witch hunt. The entire thing has been a witch hunt. Phony witch hunt. Calling for an investigation into the origins of the probe. And they'll be able to see how this uh, hoax, how the hoax or witch hunt 
started and why it started. While former special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation found insufficient evidence of a conspiracy, Mueller reported at least 140 contacts between the Trump campaign and Russians and outlined 10 instances of possible obstruction of justice by President Trump. It comes as Republicans escalate their assault on the House impeachment inquiry. One of the president's closest allies, Lindsey Graham, introducing a resolution backed by over 40 Republican senators calling the process illegitimate, demanding House Democrats hold a floor vote to authorize an impeachment inquiry and provide the president with due process. I think if we were doing this, you'd be beating the out of us. So what I am saying is there's a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it. And this is a dangerous way to do it. Got to agree with that. Right? So so there's the spin. Uh, there's a spin from the left. Let's go right into the spin from the right. If you want to hear it, let's go. Has been you know on television. Russia probe is now a investigation into the origins of the Russia probe is now a criminal investigation. The New York Times reporting the news with this subhead, though. Here it is. The move is likely to open the attorney general to accusations that he is trying to deliver a political victory for President Trump. Ed, this is unbelievable. They are trying to pin this. John Durham, with impeccable background, Mm -hmm. not a political bone in his body, as revenge and not a legitimate investigation by Durham. So heads you win, tails I lose. Yeah, it might be another example of just kind of letting opinion get ahead of facts. Why not let John Durham uh, actually get the facts and figure out the roots of the Russia probe as you were just debating uh, back and forth with Richard uh, and Matt. The bottom line is Fox has two sources tonight familiar with this investigation confirming that New York Times report that that man John Durham there, a U.S. attorney from Connecticut, uh, now has opened a criminal investigation. This started as a broad uh, probe. He didn't actually have a grand jury. He didn't have subpoenas, all the rest. Now he does. This is a formal (laughs) criminal probe, we're told. And so there are going to be a lot of former Obama officials who are going to be under the microscope in terms of their behavior, the FISA warrants, uh, and all the rest you've been talking about tonight, Laura. Uh, Well, there are probably people are wondering, watching this, Ed, who is most nervous Hmm. tonight, perhaps, given what we know? Uh, John Brennan has been, you know, on television a lot lately and throwing up kind of pixie dust in the air about all of this. This this is all a big scam. This whole Mm -hmm. thing is ridiculous. Casting a bar is just another uh, henchman for Donald Trump. I mean, this is this is kind of what's been done. For some time, we have some clues tonight, which is that we've been picking up reports uh, that John Dorham has been wanting to talk to John Brennan, who you mentioned, the former Obama CIA director, but also James Clapper, who, of course, was uh, the head of the director of, of uh, national intelligence, uh, who would have been involved in, in, in some of this. Uh, I'm not saying that we have evidence. Again, we shouldn't let the, uh, no, the, we shouldn't. the opinion, you know, we, we should no, follow the facts I. and figure it out, you know, it, what happened and let the chips fall uh, where they may. But I'll give you another important piece of information we're picking up tonight. There was a letter uh, sent by Michael Horowitz just in the last few hours up to, to congressional leaders and whatnot, saying that he is closing in on finally getting that inspector general uh, report about FISA abuse uh, out there in the public domain, says that he uh, is going to have it largely, uh, you know, uh, unredacted. We're going to see uh, a lots and lots of pages. James Comey's behavior, he's another one who will be under the microscope. But, but uh, officials familiar with the Durham probe are telling me tonight uh, that they're going to use that inspector general report as sort of a roadmap for this criminal probe. Uh, as you know, the inspector general cannot actually prosecute people, can only suggest here's what happened, Here, here's where there may have been wrongdoing, but can't actually prosecute anybody, uh, can recommend prosecution, but can't actually do it. Right. Now John Durham has that subpoena power, has that grand jury, can actually potentially push criminal charges. That's All a big right. So you hear the spin, right? Again, FISA, they're, they're so concerned with the FISA, the FISA uh, uh, getting subpoenas from the from the from the FISA court to investigate Trump, right? But again, you got to to go to the ballot. You have to go to the one step further, gentlemen. You have to go one step further into what actually happened in the DNC. That's where the that's where RussiaGate started. It didn't start with Trump after the conventions leading into the election. It started with the, with the DNC ripping off Bernie Sanders. And WikiLeaks revealing that information. That's where Russiagate started. So please, pretty please with sugar. That's where you must look. 
So what am I looking at now? So Reuters is also reporting U.S. Justice Department review of origins of Russia probe. Now a criminal investigation, sources say. So it's all official. They're all, they're all on the uh, on the on the battle. But look, here's the here's the Russia gate, right? Here's his Mueller. So it, it actually, what's interesting is actually, if Trump and Barr and Durham move forward, they kind of steamroll the uh, Mueller, Mueller investigation pretty much because they're saying that if they're saying that they're looking for criminal investigate, the criminal activity uh, into the origins of, of Russiagate, they are in fact calling Mueller uh, a criminal right? because he, there he is investigating. Mueller spent two and a half years investigating found, and found nothing other than a bunch of bullshit piled on, you know, shit piled on top of shit Right, without any evidence of the origins of where this leak occurred, right? That the that the creation of the GRU agents, twelve GRU agents. You remember this stuff? Let's take a stroll down memory lane. Right? You remember the GRU agents operating as Guccifer 2.0 and DC leaks. It's all bullshit, right? It was a it was a it was a drop. Right? Somebody somebody grabbed the. Emails, whether it was Seth Rich, whether it was, you know, the the spying in Congress in Ron Juan, all the people that had, whether it was a rogue congressman who had the passwords to the DNC, like Debbie Wasserman Schultz, somebody took that information. It was wide open, right? To, even John Podesta himself was so wide open that someone hacked his Gmail account. It was their functioning idiots, right? but we'll never know because. They turned over that server to CrowdStrike that essentially wiped the evidence. It was never investigated. So that's the origin of, of Russiagate. It was no fucking Russians. It was it was insiders, right? And all of this creation of Guccifer 2.0 and and DC leaks and 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 the 12 Russian agents. Remember these guys? These fucking guys, Victor Borosky and Dmitry Sakisakisakihi and Ivan and Alaski and Sergey and Nikolai. You remember all the 12 fake Russians that uh, these guys right here, you remember? Remember this? Wanted by the FBI, Russian interference in 2016 U.S. election. Where the hell are they? You want to find out the truth about the origin of Russiagate, find these guys and they'll tell you, I don't know what you're talking about. What? What? Who? Fucking! I don't work for no GRU. I'm a I'm a mailman. I'm a I'm a I'm a carpenter. I'm a uh, I, I I don't even have a job. I work for the you know I work for the post office. <laughs> fucking, these guys are nobodies, right? This is all bullshit. And we already knew that, right? We already knew that the whole thing is bullshit. So this this the idea that that Durham and William Barr now have subpoena power. The, the the ability to draw a grand jury together and and prosecute um, is I mean it's is it political is is the left saying that the origins and the reasons why Trump would do something like this is it political of course it's political but the whole system is politicized one dumps on the other gets caught and now the the people in power Trump are now dumping it back dumping a bucket of shit on the other team's head right is it going to work for Trump of course it's going to work for Trump it's in it's Trump it's in it has always been in Trump's to Trump's advantage to find out the origins of Russiagate to discover what actually happened in those bowels of the DNC what is on that server that suggests that Russia had anything to do with anything Right, because once you figure that out, once you debunk the Russia hack theory in the DNC, then you debunk everything else. Everything else is a pile of shit. Why didn't Mueller find that uh, that evidence? Why didn't he? Why didn't he delve into? Why did he accept fully the words of a third party crowd strike that the, the Clintons hired to look at that server? Why? 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 That is the origins of, of Russiagate. So Marcus Conti reporting here today on, uh, on the the breaking news that the Russiagate. We thought Russiagate was dead, right? We thought it was over, but now you know. Hey, listen, man. Why? Why talk about you know healthcare for all? Why talk about you know 
uh, ending, you know, abject poverty in America, decreasing the military industrial complex and the wars, the war machine, the regime change wars, the bullying of countries like Venezuela and and why why talk about any of that stuff? Why talk about making the lives of average Americans a little better and deflating the billionaire class? Why talk about any of that? Let's talk about how the Democrats cheated or tried to screw Trump in his ass. That's what we want to talk about. That's all we want to find out about. Let's not talk about that the elections are rigged. Let's talk about how the Democrats screwed Trump in his ass. Because that's all we're going to really hear from Trump, the egomaniac. Right, the fucking guy, all he wants to do is talk about himself. And uh, so, uh, you know, hey, listen, Marcus Conte reporting.